and today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute bow. It is another translation from um, a Mexican tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to do this one. I have adjusted the tutorial a little bit just to get the stitches in and make it a little bit easier and obviously with this version that you can do with mine you can do the two colours on either side rather than having to do one in a big block. So like I said that's that's the difference and like I said you get this really really pretty look with the scrunch middle and I also used some double-sided sequenced ribbon but it is not my favourite because it is very difficult to stitch through so there is a nice unicorn blue version and the second one there so I'll get everything started and if I ever speak too quick for you don't worry because I always put all the measurements in the description block box below so like I said you can always go back to that if you need to Okay, so you'll need two pieces of 12 inches, and I've already got all the folds in and creased just to save some time. And you'll need two pieces in e patterns, or you can do these planes in seven inches. And like I said, that's the centers either side, and the longer bits are for this bit here. Okay, so what I have done is I have taken the two smaller pieces I have heat sealed every single end on all my pieces we've folded that in half and creased our centre and the other thing I've done for lining up the ribbon is I've folded these pieces in half like so and I've done a little tiny little pencil mark right on the centre just when I'm putting them together so that they all line up nicely okay and I've done that on both pieces like so so put them to one side for a minute and then these are the two 12 inch pieces and again heat seal bands we have folded in half and creased our center and then the other thing that I have done is from your side you want to fold down so you get a triangle like this and you want that triangle to completely meet that edge there and I have a nice clean sanitized set of hair straighteners that I use and I literally creased all of my creases using this and I did the same on the opposite side and then what you want to do is eventually this will be brought in like so and I've done exactly the same on the other side you fold your triangle in so it reaches this because eventually it's going to be folded over the centre like so and that's what your piece wants to look like so your triangles go down and then they're going to go in and we repeat that on both pieces so triangles down for them to go in in a second okay and with this you want one side facing this way and one flat side facing this way okay just so take that out of the way now and as you can see i'm doing the blue against purple and the purple against the blue so we've got our little mark here to make sure we've got the center and where our crease is Place that directly over and then we want to fold that in half like so, so we get this look, so that's what it is at the moment and then fold this in and with this we want it so where our triangle starts is where we fold over so from this side, let me just move this up so you can see so where our triangle starts here that's where we fold it in from like so because we don't want our tips to overlap we want them just against one another okay and then you can pin or use a clip to pin your ribbon in place before we put our stitches in so that's one side and again fold in from where your triangle starts 
directly against that edge because when we do our stitches we need to be catching this edge because that's where you get the nice creases to make the bow look all nicely balanced okay so we've got that side and again little pin three layers like so and this is what your back looks like and this is your front and like I said as you can see we've got all the layers together because when we do our sewing we want to be going through all three of them and all five of them across there okay and we're going to repeat the other side and again we've got our little lines here so place that in facing this way instead of that way line up your center fold that over make sure all your edges are all lined up as before and again from where our triangles start fold in like so and pin like I said from where the triangle is fold in lift that up and pin the opposite side there we go so we should have the two pieces like I said one facing this way one facing that way okay so that's what you've got for the minute and what you want to do is from our stitches, let's move that out of the way so I'm not distracted for a second. You want to start at this corner here and as you saw I just moved that back up so that they're all three layers at the same place. Like so, can you see? We want to go in from there, we want to do one, two, and our third one. Just gonna get my edges together. The third one, we want to be going through those layers there. Three. So in one, two, three, four, five for that third one. One, two, three, four. Five across. And we want to be doing the six out through that point okay and then to start our next one we want to be going in from the point one take a pin out that side two just going to even that out a little bit two the third one you should be going out through those corners there Make sure you're getting all your layers. Five, six. And we've started in and we're going out from above. So we've gone from above and we're coming up from above. And what you want, when you pinch these together, you should have three even creases on both sides. And that will help you have a nice balanced bow. Okay, I'll open that up in a minute once I've got the thread through and you can see the stitches. So in, one, two, across, one, two, out. Okay, so you've got five stitches in total showing you're in and out. And on the back, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And you should have three stitches across each piece. Okay. And then we're going to repeat on the opposite side and again we start from that corner make sure all of your layers are all together as before otherwise this bit sort of slips and moves about and we don't want that it sort of messes up with the look of the bow so from above one two take our ribbon out 
down so a little bit more. So the third one through all our layers to start with. Went too far on that one. So one, two, three, fourth stitch is the one where we come up through the layers. Five, six up through the point, seven back down through the other side, move our pen, one, two, should be going back through all of our layers that side, three, four, five. So like I said, we've come back out on the same, and again, if we pull them together in a second, you'll see three even creases again, the opposite side, and then we can pull together and cinch our bow like so. And then what I do is I line up my creases on the opposite side, like this and I'm going to stitch round once on both sides and when you do this get as close to the centre as you can because you don't want to be seeing any stitch marks on your wrap or centres okay that's why it's important to reline them up and then you can go through like so and pull nice and tight and I always use extra strength thread as well for this very reason so I can do things like this and again, line up the other side. So you've got your three creases on both sides. All the way through. And then because I don't tend to glue with this method, this tends to pop open. So what you want to do to anchor it in place from beneath I do a couple of stitches over and again you want to be doing these as close to the centre as you can so I'm going to wrap the 9mm or a bigger piece for your centre pieces you can't see any stitching beneath so take that through and then I do a couple of stitches across our crease bumps just to stop that from pulling open on the front and like I said I'll just do a couple more it's basically anchor stitches Okay, pull them nice and tight so you join uh, as close together as possible and then stitch off in back however you prefer. that's better and there we go there is your super pretty bow and I like the fact that with these they naturally curve like this and you get like a little butterfly effect so all I need to do is got a clip ready and I've got a 9 mil to wrap first and then what I've done with this is I've got some 1.5 inch ribbon for the scrunchy bit which I'll show you in a second I've taken a second bit cut it in a triangle like so and heat sealed my edges together and heat sealed this piece obviously and this gives you that slightly more the two-tone scrunch colour effect it's just something I've been playing around with. So like I said, it's not not that complicated. So if you want to try that, you can. Or you can just do one piece in the, the colour that matches the bow. It's entirely up to you. Okay, just pop 
pop that on the centre. Touch glue there. Heat seal the end of our 9mm. Touch of glue there. Open up your clip. Centre that. And we're going to wrap around a couple of times. Nice and tight. So there's one. Open that back up. Two. Get rid of that excess. Okay. Is that one? And if you hear any laughing in the background, it's just my housemate watching a film in the other room. So there's that one. And then like I said, you could leave it there or add an embellishment. But like I said, I'm going to do the scrunch middle. So what you do is this is roughly four inches. And you want to fold an S shape. Like so. So you get this look. And you want to heat seal that together by running it. You light it over and pinch in. Be carefully burning your fingers when you do this. Okay. So that's one side. So we've scrunched the S that way. And then on this side, we do it in the opposite direction. Like so. Repeat again, get your S shape. Heat seal those edges together. Like I said, be careful. You want to get it the, between having enough soft enough to heat seal, but not so hot you burn your fingers, if that makes sense. So then you get this look. And what I do is from the back where the purple is or one colour. Put a drop glue here. Open our clip again. Hold that round all centre and just give it a couple of seconds to set before we pull. Then wrap that round like so, so you still get your scrunchy look. And then we want a drop of glue here. Just there. Okay. Hold that down. And there you go. You've got a multicoloured scrunch middle. Like I said, you can do this with all colours. You could do it with plain colours rather than the roses, like myself. Uh, patterns, you can do any patterns. Like I said, you can use the sequence material instead. Like I said, you get these lovely like butterfly flares. Like I said, this is some unicorn rainbow um, sequenced ribbon that I got off AliExpress months and months and months ago. And I haven't really had the urge to use it because the edges weren't great, but I trimmed that down. And some of the sequins had sort of gone all like this because it's reversible. So you can flip them so all the sequins are silver instead of the unicorn. But like I said, I'm not massively keen on it. But I thought I'd give it a go and see what it looks like. Like I said, it's quite pretty. But like I said, I don't like the look of it by itself. So... Like I said, but sometimes if you want to try more interesting ribbon that is slightly more unique, AliExpress is a place that you can buy it for reasonable prices. Uh, you normally have to buy in bulk, so you have to buy a couple of metres of most of it. So if you're going to buy it, do think about that. And at the moment, obviously with chipping, it does take sort of anywhere between two weeks to 12 weeks, depending on your suppliers. So like I said, but you can get some pretty things on there. Um, if you need any more help, the uh, links to the group and the Facebook uh, page are in the description along with the measurements. And like I said, if you need any more help, do come and ask me and I will help you out any way I can. And thank you for watching. Bye.